This is Andre Touchy Feely. You listen to the Verbal Scrap Podcast. Let's get weird. This is the Shark, Anthony Avalu. You listen to Verbal Scrap. This is Justin, the Raw Deal Basement. You listen to Verbal Scrap. This is Nan Fan, and you're listening to the Verbal Scrap Podcast. I'm a fighter. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to fight. Hey, this is Dave Hirsch by MMA Gold, and you're listening to the Verbal Scrap. I've worked so hard to do what i got to do in here. I've took so much blood for this sport. i took so much pain, everything for this sport. Hey, y'all, this is Eat Johnston. Uh, you're listening to SRMMA.com Verbal Scrap. Stay tuned. they got some good stuff coming up. Jay Wall on the Verbal Scrap Podcast, here with MMA Gold Manager Dave Hirschbein. Got a recent big signing, Thomas Vasquez, Mississippi. I wanted to ask you first, how do you get involved with guys across the different parts of the country? You know, like anything, it's just networking, it's just knowing some people, and people introducing people to people, and that's how it comes back. Well, Vasquez undefeated as a pro. I mean, what do you think about what you know about him, and and what was your thought process going into signing him? Yeah, you know, he actually comes from a a high-level karate background and a jiu-jitsu background. As uh, as an amateur, he was 17-3. and As a pro, he's 5-0 and right now. He has fought once in strike four. So he's a proven veteran. What I like about him is his attitude. Right now, he will fight anybody in the world that I bring him, and that's the type of fighter client that I like to work with. Well, you do a lot here in the region. What, what's the process like for you as far as your fighters that are in different areas of the country and how that works with what your MMA gold style will? You know, honestly, it's the exact same relationship. They're my, they're my clients. They're my friends. I'd work the same level of uh, enthusiasm and dedication as I would someone in Mississippi versus right here in California. So, honestly, the guy could be sitting next door, and it feels like he's right here with me, or in Mississippi, vice versa. It doesn't matter. Just a few more quick things for you. We're here at Andy Kay's gym. What do you think about the new partnership? How's it been going for your fighters so far? You know, I love it. Andy Kay's actually uh, just been a fantastic guy to work with. He's welcomed us into his gym. We welcome him into our gym. I think the partnership and affiliation is going to be great. It's good for us. He rounds out an area of our, uh, of our school that we need, and hopefully we can help back with a little MMA expertise here on this end. Well, last thing I wanted to ask you, what do you think the steps that you've been doing for MMA Gold as a fight team in a gym have done for the for the name of the business around this region, and, and what do you hope that it continues to do? You know, honestly, it, it's just about taking care of the fighters and trying to fill the gaps. If we need uh, Muay Thai, you go find an Andy K. If, if you need a boxing, you know, you go work with a guy like Mike Guy. If you need jiu-jitsu, you know, you, you keep it in-house and work with Jim West. Wrestling for Alex Grunder. Uh, of course, kickboxing, you go with MF Beck. So, you know, you just fill the holes, and then you do that the same thing with sponsorships. You find the holes, whether the fighters need gear, apparel, uh, supplements, whatever it takes to keep the fighters in the gym and in the cage, that's what it's about. If you're interested in more fight management, check out MMAGold.com or MMA Pink for some of their new products. This segment is brought to you by MMA Pink, the fight gear and casual wear for women, founded in 2013 by MMA Gold's fight manager, Dave Hirschbein, as a sister apparel company to MMAGold.com. You can find more information as well as their store at MMAPink.com.